Yo, 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 what's good, peoples? What's good? It's Ricky Tice, aka Sergeant Tyson. You can find me on Facebook, Ricky Tice, R I C K Y T Y S. Shoot me a message, say hi, say hello. Definitely props out to, uh, shout out to O'Shea uh, Duke Jackson for a follow up on one of my postings on Say No to Single Mothers. You know I'm saying, appreciate it and stuff. I'm gonna send you some more contact. Uh, later on But definitely men Red pill men Get on The motherfucking Stingy men's club Straight up from Africa Awesome I saw the videos that O'Shea post up on his On his channel and I was like Oh shit this dude actually bought this chick A piece of land build her a house and this chick when did the okie doke on him, she like, you know, it's been real, it's been nice, you know, da da da. That motherfucker like, oh yeah? You wanna fucking dump me so you can go bring other niggas up in my crib? Fuck that. He tore that shit down. Took an excavator out there, tore that shit down. I was like, oh, yes. I like, bitch, you can keep the land, but you ain't keeping the house. Build your own house. I said, damn, that's how these chicks out there in Africa are now? They fucking entitled? No, they no entitled chicks. I mean, they may think they're entitled, but always say the words, let me see what I can do. Oh, I want to do this. I want to go there. Let me see what I can do. I'm entitled to a five-star meal. Let me see what I can do. Fuck a five-star meal. We're going to the chicken spot. I'm not going to burn money on you because I wasn't going to get no cheeks. I ain't going to get the kitty and shit. I, you know, I ain't going to get the cheeks. Fuck that. Keep that shit moving. Uh, been working, updating my house, updating the electrical system. Still got some old wiring in the house that's uh, that's been there since the house was built. I got to tear those out and put in new ones. Kind of hard nowadays to find a decent licensed electrician in my area, especially around in New Jersey. That don't charge a hefty price just to do some rewiring and stuff. Because I told him, look, just tell me what I need. I go get the material. You just do the job. And shit. So let's see how that goes. And uh, let me see what else, man. Yo, son, mother, I don't give a fuck about you. You just don't know that the shit that you do is crazy. I don't care. My daughter's already at the age of living on their own with a little bit of help from daddy. Saying, 20 year old daughter just got her driver's license. Now she want to drive my car. I said, No, I will get you a car that you can beat up on. Uh, oldest daughter is doing all right. My son, he texts me every here and there. And I was like, Come on, man, poor communication. Your mother don't let you fucking text me or call me. That's some bullshit. She don't know. I'm paying enough. I'm paying. Shit, my child support went up, went up from 500 a month to 800 a month for him. Plus, there was an order of protection placed on me that some that baby moms don't know that her mother did it. So she can keep the child support because my lawyer was down in GA fucking poking around in the GA <clears throat> uh, child service, child, I don't know, children's services and shit trying to find this bitch. So we can get this uh, court case going. But this old bitch did her best to avoid detection because she's collecting the child support while my son don't get a goddamn thing. <laughs> and his mo and it's a sad part is his fucking mother don't want to fucking fix it at all. She want to be with her fucking African husband who I beat the fuck up twice. And 
one time in the yard in front of her house. He got loud with me, whooped his ass. Pushed me around, talking about he, oh, he a big man, all that shit. All those muscles on him. He hardly had muscles because I was a little bit bigger than him. Whooped his ass. I said, you fucking simp. He's a fucking simp husband to all six of her grandkids. Actually, seven actually now. Because one of her daughters just had her fourth kid. And uh, one of her other, and her younger daughter had her third kid. Seven. I said, you simp ass grandfather, stepdad, whatever you are, I whooped his ass. Next thing he comes back from Africa, he's training in a kickboxing gym for the past two months, and blah, 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 blah. His mother talking shit. He talking shit to me, talking about like, yo, come around to the gym. I was like, whatever. Came around to the gym, checked him out. Oh, he's training and shit like that. Showing his little kickboxing moves and his punches and shit. And um, I went there to go pick up my son so I could go take him and get a haircut. And he wanted a new pair of shoes, new pair of sneakers, that he, you know, another pair of Adidas. I said, cool, no problem. That's what it's, I said, like, I told him, like, look, son, I come pick you up from the gym. As soon as I got to the gym, after I got off of work, after I got off of duty, I was in my military uniform. I was in army fatigues, just got off duty and shit. I'm about to go pick up my kid from the gym so I can go get him some pairs and go get him a haircut and a pair of sneakers. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, this dude in there kickboxing and shit. As I was watching him from the glass, I was like, I just walked in. It's like, he's talking about, like, what's up now, man? I'm here. I've been doing some training with my trainer right here and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You want to go at it right now, round two? I looked at him. I was like, I laughed. I was like, dude, just be. Just keep training, man. You're not ready. I've been training for two months straight. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? Two hours a day. I can, you know, let's go. Let's go. I'm like, I asked the trainer, look, I'm not responsible for this man <laughs> if he gets his ass whooped by me. The first time, the first time he thought I wasn't playing with him. And he, he went up four feet up in the air and went back down hard on his back and and this trainer was like yo how much do you weigh I was like look I'm 6'3 240 I was like damn what's that muscle or fat I was like a little bit of both <laughs> but I'm working but I'm slimming down my, my fat though because I'm working out again So, so his trainer was like, yo, I don't think you, I was like, the trainer was like, yo, you sure? They're like, yeah, let's go in the gym right now. I was like, whatever. The trainer asked me like, yo, you want gloves? Like, nah, no gloves needed. He can use his gloves. I'm straight fist, bare knuckle. And stuff. All I had was my army gloves. I put those on. Took off my shirt, took off everything. I was like, come on, man, let's go. Threw a couple of punches, blah, blah, blah. His trainer telling me what to do and stuff like that. Then after that, I fucked him up. I said, dude, you didn't. I like, you got too much training. I got 15 years of fighting. Fighting in the street. Learning how to box. I took lightweight boxing classes and stuff during the summer times. Or well, whenever my friend's father was training, he was training me how to use my hands, what to do, what not to do. Fucked him up. That jujitsu, that jujitsu and wrestling kicked in. Fucked him up. Embarrassed him in front of his friends and his trainer. Fucked him up. Put him in a sleeper hole. That motherfucker went right to sleep. He didn't tap out of nothing. Just put him right to sleep. After that, the trainer wanted me to come join his gym and, and help train. I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good. Got my son. 
my son said to me like dad you really dad you didn't you didn't have to hurt him I like hurt him I didn't hurt him he hurt himself he hurt himself as soon as he came around that kick I blocked it I blocked his kick I took a full fist and went for his fucking kneecap and he went down. But yo, I said, look, I don't like fighting. I like defending myself, but I don't like fighting no more. You know, but yo, definitely check out the Stingy Men's channel. I mean, on uh, Facebook. Props to O'Shea Duke Jackson. Props to Mr. Palmer. Of the Baby Mama Terrace channel. You know what I'm saying? The school's back in session. Traffic is back up. Good thing I made it to work on time. Peace.